Um, with that, we'll move on to our next item, which is council comments, reports, and future agenda items. Council member Hume. That's all I have to report. And now there's just one thing that I'd like to bring up uh, relative to, I don't even know if it's future agenda items. It may just uh, amount to a little more than um, a rant. And that is that we had a homicide in Elk Grove uh, recently uh, committed by uh, a homeless individual um, perpetrated upon a homeless individual. Uh, the victim was asleep in his sleeping bag at the bus shelter uh, when this uh, other person, and I use that term loosely, uh, just started stabbing him. Mm -hmm. uh, that is horrific in and of itself. Um, what is more horrific is that when I saw uh, this individual's mugshot, he looked familiar to me. So I did a little digging on the interweb and he uh, had previously been arrested for brandishing uh, potentially the same knife that was used as the murder weapon uh, on another individual in the same parking lot, charged with a felony uh, of uh, threats with a lethal weapon intending great bodily injury, uh, million dollar bail. And yet he was back out on the streets in order to commit this crime. Um, that the, the the victim's family lost a family member okay let's start there the other thing is when you couple this with the tragedy that happened up in rancher cordova where the young uh, woman was out for a jog and was accosted raped and murdered uh, by another individual that had no business being on our streets and then the the woman who was putting her kids in her car after visiting a park and is accosted and punched by a, a young homeless man for no reason. These things are unacceptable to me. We have lost control of our civilized society and we're shrugging our shoulders because of decisions by courts and legislators to not act. And it's time that that ends. And I think that we have an opportunity uh, potentially with this community prosecutor, uh, potentially with enacting some local ordinances that we take the opportunity. Now, I am not suggesting, do not mishear me. I am not suggesting that being unhoused is a, a crime. However, there are criminal uh, uh, instances taking place that can be used as an indicator or as an opportunity to compel intervention to say, you are not participating in society. You are not living your best life. We don't want to incarcerate you. Here are the services that are option that are available in order for you to change the trajectory of your life. Should you refuse, then you will. Uh, then we will pursue uh, the stick option. So there's a carrot, and then there's a stick. Um, I I know that uh, I had I I was so just worked up over this because I've been doing a lot of research on this issue, and so I I had a, a virtual call earlier today with uh, our police chiefs with our homeless outreach team and with the city manager. And there is a, a lot that we are hamstrung because of legislative issues, because of court decisions. But there, there are things that we can do. And I know that uh, uh, Chief Davis uh, is familiar with some, um, uh, I think it's an ordinance that was adopted by uh, Rancho Cordova. And again, all I'm trying to get to is the point where we can make contact with the individual and compel them that what uh, the, the, what is uh, transpiring that the situation that they're in is it's not humane. There's nothing compassionate about it. And that, um, you know, unfortunately uh, it's, it, we like to paint this um, idealized version where, you know, it's, it's just a recently down on their luck situation. And that the sad fact, and this is, is uh, born out by talking to, to first responders and to individuals who interface with this community, the majority, and not even slim, the majority are suffering from trauma, they're suffering from mental health, or they're suffering from substance and or alcohol abuse. And if we are not addressing those root causes, we are not making an impact. I look at, at, at the situation just north of our border uh, by Kasumas River um, Boulevard, and, and it looks like a slum in a third world country. And this is in, in America. It is, it's unacceptable. It's, it's, we have to start moving the needle on this. So 
again, I, I, I'm, I'm afraid this isn't a little more than just a rant, but I would like um, council um, agreement to bring back an item and I would leave it to, to, uh, to our chiefs and to the, the homeless outreach team to, to put together what that looks like, but something that we at least try and do what we can at the local level until we can convince folks that, that what we've been doing isn't working.